Hi, I'm Jordan for Cal TV Entertainment, and today I'm joined with Eugenio Dreves, the star of the upcoming film Overboard. Eugenio, thank you so much for joining me today. My really pleasure, my pleasure. Thanks for uh, coming. Anytime. In the movie, your character has um, a tattoo of a cartoon, Speedy Gonzalez, <laughs> on his butt. <laughs> if you had to get a tattoo on your butt of a cartoon, what would you get? <laughs> the hard hitting question. Uh, that's a very hard question. Uh, <sighs> probably Peppa Pig. You are a huge star in Latin America, but you're finally being recognized here in the States with movies like this and How to Be a Latin Lover. So how does it feel to make that transition to U.S. superstardom? And why do you think it took us so long to realize how amazing you are? Well, uh, it's, it's weird because, as you say, I, I did my entire career in Mexico and Latin America. I worked there for 30 years. Uh, I had my own TV shows. And my TV shows are, were airing during all these 30 years through Univision here mm -hmm. in the U.S. So all the Hispanics here, they already know. They, they, they know who I am. And so it was weird because when I came uh, with my movie that uh, break all the records, uh, my movie was called Instruction Not Included. Yes. That movie became the highest grossing Spanish language film ever. And that movie changed my life. It was so funny that I was a very recognizable face for some of them. And for the entire country, it was like no one. Mm -hmm. I was like living in these two worlds That's where, so you know, it's, it's really weird and, and wild. And what do you think is the biggest difference between U.S. audiences and Latin American audiences? In Mexico, in Latin America, we laugh at different things. We're more uh, farsic. Mm -hmm. uh, our comedy is brother. You know, big gestures, big, everything is big. And here, everything is grounded, small, contained. So you have to, I had to change my style, I have to change my humor, my sense of humor, and making a movie that appeals to both audiences, it's been a, 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 a real challenge. But I think- But you're succeeding. Yes, yes, because I think I found uh, the formula. Right now, there's a huge diversity issue in Hollywood. So how does it feel to have a major studio make not only a movie starring a Mexican actor, but like you said, with so many other Latin American stars and with a lot of Spanish dialogue? And like, how do you think it's going to change the industry? Every time I talk about diversity and I talk with, about this with studios, they are always uh, fearing that it might not connect with the general market. From Mexico till uh, Argentina, we all been watching Hollywood films our entire lives. Exactly. And we love you guys. And, and all your movies are about white people, about Americans. So why not the opposite? Why, why not give it a try? Because I'm, I'm sure you're going to love our movies. That's why Guillermo del Toro is succeeding here. That's why yeah. Gonzalez Iñárritu is succeeding here. Cuaron. We're, they are telling stories with a Latin flavor, a Latin feeling. And I'm sure you're going to love them. Yeah. So just give it a try. Stop being afraid of something different. As one of the most successful stars in Mexico and now in America, whose Netflix account do you use? My wife. Oh my god. <laughs> no matter how successful you are. I'm always uh, calling my wife, what's your uh, <laughs> what's the password? password? Let me in. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, so I've been Jordan for Cal TV Entertainment with Eugenio Derbez. Make sure you watch Overboard in theaters now. Vamos, Vamos